I was wrong. Can you believe it? I said before that having a big idea, having a big dream, having a big vision for yourself was something that could help you get out of a rut. And there's kind of this ideal that the more you have, the more you want, or and the more everything should be bigger, everything should be better, you know? <laughs> and this wanting just creates this big discrepancy between where you are and what you want. And the bigger the, the kind of the gap is, the bigger your dreams are, the bigger the thing that you want, and the further away you kind of feel and you feel more dissatisfied because there's like a lack of progress. Any step you take feels so futile in comparison to like this massive goal. Having this grandiose plan, like where you're going to change the world, where you're going to make this big kind of change, you know, trying to rely on this and on your motivation, you know, finding your purpose or your passion, as they call it. But how does this make the present feel? You know, like, how do you feel if you were to take out the trash? Like, you feel pretty lame. You're like, oh, but billionaires don't take out their trash. But millionaires don't, people that cha change the world, politicians, do they take out their trash? I don't see them taking out their trash, so why should I be? And all of these small things feel so insignificant when you get this big prop up your ego with these big kind of goals and these things that you want. And the reality is that you're here now for a reason. I'm here now where I am for a reason because of my past. And if those are things that you do want, then you have to build up to it. And you have to take care of yourself before you can change the world. You have to change yourself before you can change the world. And how you do that is just, as I've said before, in the moment, to making small decisions, being a bit better day after day. If these mundane, plain things, it's just eating a bit more salad, going on a longer walk, um, talking to your friend, or just these small little insignificant things that seem so silly in the day, but then they kind of add up and they build up and then you build momentum. It's having a good habit of, you know, working out a bit more or taking care of yourself, just doing these sorts of things that you know will take care of your health, meditating and all these things, and just doing them day after day, even though you might not necessarily feel like them. But these are the steps that are going to get you what you want and you have to build from where you're at. Another component of this is low self-esteem, which is something that I've talked about a lot. And it just creates this compensation, you know, like where you feel so low, you feel so bad about yourself. So you feel like you have to overcome that. But not only do you feel like you have to overcome that, you feel like you have to catch up to other people. I feel like I have to catch up to other people because I'm like so far behind. And this insecurity just feeds this kind of loop that I have to have. I have to dream bigger. I have to want more. I have to work more. I have to be more rather than like just realizing that these steps take time and that it takes time to build up to these things. I can't just re reach to the end, you know, I can't just jump to the end and kind of cheat my way there. Also this low self-esteem created this external focus, like relying on other people just to give me the answers, being overly reliant on books or gurus or friends to kind of give me what I wanted to find an answer that I wanted to give me the answer that would satisfy me. But, it's kind of ridiculous because only I know myself, only I have my unique kind of perspectives and know what I want, what I've experienced, how I react to certain things. And it's my responsibility to take care of that and actually change that and actually make something better for myself, for my future self. And often these answers aren't that great, you know, they're kind of, they kind of suck, especially at the beginning, you know, like for me, it's quite simple. I just need a save up more, be a bit more disciplined with my finances so I can move out, get more independence and then get a slightly better job that's a bit more aligned with my values while I build skills and kind of test out areas and see, you know, which direction I'm kind of want to go towards. And <laughs> me waiting for this big idea or this big dream to kind of wait to motivate me to try to get me out of this kind of funk to pull me out and all of a sudden I'd have like a better life and then I'd be able to, you know, have a lot more money and feel a lot more confident in myself. Like these things are earned. And all I can really do is do what I can now. All we have is the present moment. We don't know how long we have to live. And as I said, all we have is the present moment. All we can do is now, all we can control is now. And when will enough ever be enough? There's like this kind of pattern where I think that I want something. I think that I want something that will satisfy my needs, that will 
finally break this tension in me that will bring me the satisfaction that I've been searching for, that I'm longing for. And maybe it does for a while, but then life goes on and then it's on to the next thing. It's always on to the next thing and the next thing. Like enough is never enough. And isn't it better to kind of accept that and just realize each day I could do a little bit better. Each day I can try and control the things that are gonna make my life a little bit better, that are gonna make me feel better about myself, that are gonna make my future a little bit easier. And then this is just gonna compound and build on it. And even though it's kind of small at the start and it takes a while to build up, over time, like these things start to compound. Like I'm kind of shocked because I've built up these habits these past couple months and usually when I would get into a funk, I would fall out of it and then I'd fall into like kind of this dark place. But since I've built up these habits, even though I don't feel great, I'm still able to do these things because I've built in these habits. And I'm really grateful for that because that just gives me something to ground myself in. And that's from all the part, the work that I've done in the past, just building up this consistency, working day by day because it never ends. And tomorrow is tomorrow. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.